The world no matter how long it is, it is short, and no matter how great it is, it will end. The day will come when you will lie in your bed. You want to say goodbye to people, but you can't. You want to say goodbye to relatives, but you can't. And between them and their desires is placed a barrier. Have you ever thought that today might be your last day in life? Have you ever thought when you go out in the morning that you will not return to your home again? If death comes to you on this day, are you satisfied with yourself? We wonder how it will be at that hour. When the eyes are blind and the feet and hands are cold, you want to speak, but you cannot. <laughs> Death, as the people of knowledge said, it is the separation of the soul from the body, a transition from one state to another, it is a bridge to move from one life to another. Certainly death is a calamity for some people. But the greater calamity than death is being neglectful of death, not remembering death, not preparing for death. In a short story, a wise man told a friend who had many sins, he asked him, would you be satisfied if you died in this state? He said no. He said, did you intend to change this way of life to another way that you would be satisfied with dying? He said, not yet. He said, is there another chance after this life? He said no. He said, do you think that the angel of death will not come to you while you are in this state? He said no. He said, by God, I have never seen a sane person except this condition. Abu Ali al-Dikdak said, whoever remembers death frequently has three characteristics. He is generous in accelerating repentance, active in worship, and contentment in the heart, and whoever forgets death will be punished with three. Procrastination in repentance, laziness in worship, and lack of contentment of the heart, so what softens hearts is thinking about death, its conditions, the grave and its darkness. That is why the Prophet Muhammad, may the prayers and peace of my Lord be upon him, said. Increase in remembrance of the severer of pleasures. Meaning death. On the day that people neglected the hereafter, hearts were hardened, prayers were suspended, sins were committed, and people were lazy in doing acts of obedience. Death comes suddenly, and the grave is the chest of work.